Hey, 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 and welcome back to my channel. It's Ashley here, and if you are new, hey girl, hey. If you want to know how to make this super cute dog holder, dog holder? It's not a dog holder. It doesn't hold your dog. It holds the dog leash. So if you want to know how to make this super cute dog leash holder, keep on watching. Okay, so to start this project off, I'm just going to take this card display holder that I purchased from the Target Dollar Spot last year, and I am just going to rinse it off because it's been in my garage, and I am going to get this all prepped to be painted. Now I'm just going to cut the little ribbons that they have tied around these off because, of course, we're not going to be using this as a card display holder anymore. We're going to be using it as a dog leash holder. Okay, so now I'm going to take the Krylon Chalkboard Spray Paint and I'm going to spray this and I'm going to make sure that I'm just spraying it in the middle because I want to be able to create like this little cute little chalkboard on the right side. So I did about three coats of this. Actually, two coats. I take that back. Okay, so now I'm going to place my mason jar where it's going to be and then I'm going to take my washi tape and I am going to tape off the area where my chalkboard is actually going to be. So with this, you can do this in any shape that you want. So you can do a triangle, you can do a square, you can do like two squares, you could do circles, whatever you want to do. Um, but I'm just going to do a long triangle and I'm going to tape that off using my washi tape. If you have painter tape, you can use that. But I couldn't find my painter's tape, so I'm using my washi tape, and it works just as well. All right, so now I'm going to start to paint, and the color that I'm using is Sheepskin by Folk Art, and I did about three coats of this chalk paint. Now I'm going to attach this duct clamp, so honestly, I watched like two or three YouTube videos, and they literally legit used a handheld drill like this, and they easily put the duct clamp on using their drill drilling a hole and then adding the screw but mine was not working that way and I was like what is going on so I had to like struggle to use my drill to create a hole um but I finally got one in but if you have like a rotary tool or something like that I would definitely use that at first to cut through the metal and then drill your hole and add your screw so you don't have to struggle like me but if you don't just struggle and use your drill and you can create a hole and finally add your duct clamp. All right, so now I'm gonna take my mason jar and I'm going to add it to the duct clamp and I'm gonna make sure this thing works well. So all you have to do to screw this together is take a flathead screw and take your drill or you can do this manually and screw it back together and it will gradually tighten your clamp. So now I got this bone ornament from Michaels for like $2, but then it was actually 40% off, so it was less than that. Now I'm going to take that same color chalk paint that I used, which is a sheepskin, and I am going to coat this. And I literally just used one coat and it was good to go. All right, so now where I struggled with my duct clamp, I have like some scratches and stuff. So I'm just going to lightly go over that with my paint to cover it up. All right, so now I literally went outside and I just spray painted this um, paintbrush with the chalkboard spray paint. And now I'm just going around and I'm cleaning up the edges that had a little bit of bleed through. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this sandpaper here, it's a 220 grit, and I am just going to go back over those areas that were already distressed with it to bring out those areas again. And then I just flipped this over and I took the twine off of the back and then I removed the sticker and the staple. So now I'm gonna start to attach these hooks. So these hooks I got from a Walmart, I think they were like 247 and I just got the two packs and I'm gonna take my pen and then I'm going to mark the holes where I need them to be drilled. So after I've gotten my holes marked, I'm just going to drill my holes. After my holes are nicely drilled, I'm just going to now attach those hooks to the bottom. All right, so now I'm just gonna start to put everything together. So I'm gonna add my mason jar back and then I'm going to take my bone and I'm going to attach that using E6000. And I also added a little bit of um, hot glue so it will have an instant adhesion. The next thing that I'm going to do is season my little chalkboard area and to do that I'm just going to take a piece of chalk and I'm just going to start to scribble over it um, just every which way rubbing it and all that stuff getting it nice and dirty and then you could just take a wet napkin or a paper towel or rag and then wipe that off and then you can do it again if you want 
or you could just wipe it off that one time and then just let it dry. Okay, so now I'm gonna start to paint my edges. And all I did was I did about, all I did was like one coat cause that's all I needed was to kind of cover my edges. And I did that for my sides and the top and bottom. Now I'm just gonna take my liquid chalk pen and I'm just going to write a cute little message on here so that you guys can see how you could use this board. The last thing that I did was I added this sawtooth hanger and actually the only reason why I had to do this is because I did this upside down and I had to remove the sawtooth hanger from the top of it and add it to the bottom because I attached everything the wrong way. All right, and so this little mason jar area here can either hold like treats or doggy bags, which I'm gonna use it for doggy bags. And then of course your hooks, you can hang your leashes on. So I love how this turned out. I needed one so bad and I would always see them in the store, but I'm always the type of person that's like, oh my gosh, I can make that. And so I finally got around to making this and I'm super glad that I did because I just absolutely love how this turned out. And honestly, most of this stuff I already had. Um, I just literally had to go get the hooks, the mason jar, the duct clamp, and the bone at the top, and that was it. So I hope this inspires you to make your own little doggy leash holder if you need one. Um, I'm obsessed with this, I really am. I'm loving the color and everything, it's just so me. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't checked out my latest video, you can check it out up here, and you can also subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Make sure you leave me a comment down below, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!